14.3, adding and subtracting rational expressions with a common denominator. When we're dealing with fractions, what do we have to have in order to add the fractions? We have to have a common denominator, just like in these two fractions. Now, once we have a common denominator, that's gonna be the denominator of our answer. That doesn't change. We just add the numerators. So one plus three would be four, and then we always reduce our fractions, and this would become one. Well, we do the same thing when we're dealing with rational expressions. We have to have a common denominator before we can add or subtract the numerators. So in number one, we have a common denominator, and in this lesson, we'll have common denominators. So our denominator is gonna stay the same, and we just add the numerators. 5x plus 1x, that would be 6x, and then we reduce if we can. Since the 6 and the x are not connected with a plus or minus, we can reduce the numbers, and 6 over 12 reduces to 1 half, or x over 2. For number 2, we have our denominator, and we just add the numerators. 3 plus 5 is 8. And that would reduce to 8 over 2 reduces to 4 over 1, or this would just be 4 over A. Okay, for number 3, my denominator is 2. We're going to add our numerators. Now, these are binomials, but even though we think of them as a binomial, remember with a binomial, um, we would need to get rid of the parentheses, and this is just plus 3x and then plus a negative 1, so the signs don't change. As long as we're adding, we don't have to worry about the signs um, when we combine our like terms. So this is just the same as x plus 3x, which would be 4x, and 3 plus negative 1, so that would be plus now, we need to reduce if we can, and this binomial has a greatest common factor of 2. And we factor out the 2, and we're left with 2x plus 1 over 2. Now, these 2s would cancel, and my answer is 2x plus 1. In number 4, same thing, our denominator stays the same and we just add our numerators. So I would have 3x plus 6 in the denominator. And in the numerator, I combine like terms. x squared, there's not another x squared, so I just bring it down. 4x plus a negative x, so 4x minus x, would be 3x. And then plus 2. Okay, let's see if this would factor this trinomial x and x. The only factors of 2 are 1 and 2. This is uh, means the signs are the same and they're both plus. Okay, so if we do the smiley face to check it, that's a plus 1x plus 2x, which would give me the plus 3x. So it did factor. And in the denominator, there's a greatest common factor of 3. So now the x plus 2's cancel, and my answer is x plus 1 over 3. So that's how we add rational expressions. But when we're subtracting, we have to be careful because the subtraction symbol is floating in front of the fraction bar, and it belongs to the numerator. And so in order to combine our fractions or our rational expressions, we have to distribute that negative sign. All right, so this is my binomial in the first rational expression, and this is the one in the second rational expression. So since this is subtraction, I'm going to rewrite this. I know that my denominator is x minus 2. And then this is going to stay the same because there's no sign in front. So this is 2x minus 7, but this negative needs to go 
or be distributed to both of these terms. So that would be minus negative times a positive x squared would be minus x squared. Negative times negative, that would be a positive three. Now I can combine my like terms. Two x squared minus x squared would be x squared. Negative seven plus three would be negative four over x minus two. Okay, now this x plus four is a difference of perfect squares. So that's x plus two, x minus two over x minus two, and the x minus twos cancel. So my answer is just x plus two. Okay, we've got to do the same thing here. In the denominator, I have x squared minus 25. And in the numerator, I have x squared plus x. Then I distribute this negative, that's minus x squared. Negative and negative, that'd be plus five. Okay, if I combine my like terms, x squared minus x squared would just cancel out. And that leaves me with x plus five over x squared minus 25. Again, this is a difference of perfect squares. So I need to factor it into x plus five, x minus five. And remember, so these would cancel out. Remember to pay attention to where your answer is. That's in the denominator. So I need to write my answer as one over x minus five. And that's how we subtract rational expressions.